All right, today I wanted to give a one-year review of my Serio 827 5.8 wavelength base antenna that I use for my CB radio stuff. We can skip right to the end and I'll tell you that, yes, I think it's worth the money because this is how it looks after one year. The thing is still straight up and down. I haven't had a single piece of it come apart or need attention in the past year and it still performs the same as it did when I installed it. Okay, we're out in the backyard here. This is the pole I'm using. It still has the tag on it. It's actually a conduit, probably. One and one quarter inch conduit by 10 feet. I literally secured it to this railroad tie. The, uh, got it grounded with some number four copper wire. The coax is electrical taped to it every now and then. It's secured to the side of my shed. And then here's the antenna itself. Zoom in here, I'm not gonna climb up there. It's just electrical tape, There's not, it's not coax goop, but uh, it is electrical taped. And then this loop I put in here to catch rainwater if it happens to start running down the coax. So at least you've only got like a foot or so of wet coax. Um, the one and a quarter inch pipe worked well with the inner diameter of the antenna itself. And you can see those eight ground radials sticking out. We go all the way up to the antenna here, zoom out. This thing has maintained straightness pretty well. Can't complain. I did pay more money for this plastic ring that holds the radials because keeps them from vibrating in the wind and coming loose and also offers some support if uh, birds happen to come and sit on them. I've never seen a bird on this thing, but I'm literally only 10 feet off the ground. And in the past year, I've talked to South Korea, the Bahamas, Jamaica, um, the UK from the middle of Iowa. So it'll still work for long distance skip talking. So don't feel like you can't participate in the base antenna game if you uh, live in the middle of the suburbs like I do. Um, I do plan on getting a tower at some point, but I also plan on landscaping my yard, so I have no idea where the tower will permanently live. And as you can see, I'm just using RG8X coax, which is really cheap. I think I paid $50 for 100 feet of this. And I thought, well, I'll just use it to get going. And what's happened is I've got this stuff laying across the top of my lawn and running into the house. So I've been mowing around it and it's just laying out here in the sun. Try to make sure it doesn't get kinked up or anything. Cause, you know, that's what will kill your coax. It just runs into my house through a pass-through. Got this electrical, electrical plate type pass-through. And uh, back behind there, I pushed, it used to be full of silicone. I pushed that through and brought the coax in and then I uh, resealed it with new silicone so that water doesn't enter the house when it rains hard. But that's all there is to my antenna setup. And you can see it's pretty low to the ground, yet it works decently. I'll say decently because beam with elements 40 feet in the air with a rotate rotator will be much better so the coax runs from outside into my house up along the rafters in the basement here my workbench is a disaster because I'm constantly using it for uh, other projects mostly electronics leather working whatever happens to be needing fixed in the house but Anyway, the coax runs down into the back of my watt meter. The watt meter runs down into uh, the amplifier and then this slide on lead that I pop off into all my radios comes out of the amplifier through this uh, sniffer box, which I use to couple my oscilloscope to whatever's going on here so I can monitor my modulation. So anyway, as you can see, I've got quite a mess going on, but it works for me. 
most importantly, I haven't had any problems with this coax or antenna in the past year. I haven't had to go maintain it, do anything with it. It just works. So ultimately, I'll have a tower and probably some RG213 coax and a more permanent setup. But for now, this is what we've got going on. And it's working. Getting skip here. We'll see if we can talk to anybody. How about it out there? How about it? This is 421 in the middle of Iowa. 421 and we're trying. CQDX, CQDX. This is 421 north of Des Moines, Iowa. 421. One two zero in Seattle. You came over top of somebody else, but I hear you the strongest, so I'll get back to you. This is 421, just north of Des Moines, Iowa. Roger on the Iowa. 421, uh, 20 over here, just uh, north of Seattle by about 60 miles. Uh, sounding good. The number is 120, Roger. All right, now I'll try some FM, which I don't do very often. How about it out there? How about it? Is anybody hearing 421 in Des Moines, Iowa? This is 421. Radio Canada 217 in Canada. I do have you in here, and I have someone else from the West Coast as well, I believe. This is 421. We're waving. Don't miss my friend. We you up. 1958, Jamaica. Yeah, I think I heard